If you're a fan of racing or driving sims, then how would you briefly describe each game based on its title? iRacing? You probably think of competitive racing, AC for drifting in mini mods, ETS is whenever you would embrace that inner trucker and beam and G drive? Well, crashing? That's typically people's impression of Beam&G, and it's kind of a problem. Your initial assumptions on games are based on what you find on the internet, and the internet is plagued full of Beam&G crashing content, and so there's a chance you didn't get the game because you weren't looking for a crashing simulator. You were trying to find a rally, drifting, crawling, or whatever driving sim, and many of Beam&G's players have been pointing fingers in different directions, trying to pinpoint who and what is causing this misrepresentation. Oftentimes, I've seen the blame placed on the shoulders of influencers, but I don't think they're always the problem. They're always the problem. They're always the problem. Still exists. Talks. Beam and G is a phenomenal driving sim, but most people find that to be surprising because they find the game through crashing channels, or even worse, a shorts channel. If I can reach the bottom, no, you will not. I will eat one more bottle of paste. I, I know why these exist, but I don't know why. I, what, what, they're so bad. If you don't know what it is, then don't worry. We'll, we'll talk about crash, it. Crash, crash. Crash, crash. But first, let's talk a little bit about the wrecking channels. If you type Beam&G into YouTube, these will be amongst the first videos you see in your search, most of them pertaining to wrecking. The most destructive. High-speed traffic car crashes. Realistic freeway crashes. Rollover and car crashes. Racing random cars down dangerous mountains. Insinuating crashes. Police chase and car crashes. Funny cars crossing bullark. What is this? Oh, it's a short. Joking aside, when some of you pointed this out, I thought it was just YouTube being YouTube. But upon searching up iRacing, WRC, and a set of cores, the videos all looked like they were targeted towards a far more mature audience. Why does Beam&G look like this when you search it up? Well, kids. Like it or not, that seems to be what the majority of the space is made up of. I mean, how do you explain this? How many views do you think this has? A, a few thousand? No, no, no. Try a million. How about this one? One million? Two million? No, try 52 million. Ugh, all the ad revenue. What the fuck? 30,000 per million? <laughs> <laughs> this one had 67. I have 92,000. <laughs> Nobody even subs. But Tux, <laughs> don't you think you're being a little ungrateful? Sammy, look at all the money. You're freaking rich. They only make about 3,000 per million. <laughs> Now you're probably thinking, Tox, why don't I make one of these videos? I would like to get that many views. And you totally can, but you're not going to succeed. The number of channels that have had the exact same idea is exceeding well over 100,000. I'm kind of guessing that, but I searched up BMG Crash as a channel name. And after loading in over 2,000 of them, I decided to stop because I'm sure this would have gone on for a very long time. And I decided to search through some of the channels, and unsurprisingly, a lot of them had little to no views. We even came by some AI-generated ones over my Discord, but I can't find those at the moment. Really wish I could because because the channels were like printers, and the concept to me is just terrifying. YouTube creators versus machines kind of thing, and that's already happening. But now we're getting a little off topic, so back to the point. Do I see these crashing channels as a problem for Beam and G? And if they are the first things, don't we show up? Then absolutely. On the bright side though, we do get some Let's Play style content. Very focused on crashing, but it's... Komodo, why are you always on the front page? Stop it. Go somewhere else. Now, go. No, down, down. Oh, shit. He has three million subs. I am so sorry. So you do hamburger man stuff. Hmm. That's it, lads. We're going in. <laughs> For the front page, when you search up Beam&G Drive, I wish there were some more Drive Semi stuff. Maybe Erms, Jimmy Broadbent, or Expert Gaming Tech. Pretty much anything showing off the game to your more serious audience. I also think the crashing stuff should still exist, just not as oversaturated and common as it currently is. Most of us got into Beam&G because of the crashing aspect of it, as shown by this poll that I stuck up on YouTube. And we stayed with the game because we we're pleasantly surprised with how well the cars drive. Or how well they don't, if you suck. Mm. What? What ha what happened? Well, hey there, you're lucky to be alive. Wh where am I? You wrecked in a six degree of freedom motion rig on Beam and G. Uh, this will be a ninety thousand dollar hospital bill. I, I don't have that money. I, I I'm sorry, I couldn't understand that. I, I don't have ninety thousand dollars. You what? I don't have ninety thousand. Hey, wh what are you doing? I'll sue you. Now, if you search for Beam and G on YouTube, you're likely going to see something entirely different than what I've been showing you. And that's because YouTube shows you content based on your own preferences. And I've been showing you stuff with a clean search. And therefore, is what the majority of people are seeing when they first find Beam and G. Including what we're just now about to talk about, the shorts. I cannot stand these things. Insert lame joke. While crash happens, your mom. That's pretty much everything they have to offer. Car approaches crash. Joke is said by AI voice. Blah, blah, car blah. crashes. Repeat. For some bonus points, add some text to the back of the car so the kids can watch it while they're at school. That is, assuming they're still watching it by the age of six. Oh, I just heard somebody unsub. <laughs> Which one of you got angry? Was it one of you? Or was it one of you pretending like you're 65? There's no way somebody's out there watching this at the age of 65. Anyways, why am I bringing up Beam and G short content? Well, a while ago I made 
made a video about short channels making a ridiculous amount of money, but I turns out I was incorrect. Cart Mighty noted that short channels only make about five cents per thousand views. And not too long after, Mie also stated, For every 1,000 views, a YouTube short earns a whopping five cents. Damn. Wait a minute, why are you people making this stuff? Of course, the answer to that is the amount of views these things get, which further pushes them up the algorithm, which is why every sim driver who's wanting to get BeamNG is seeing them in their search. Even if you want the game for crashing, it's just not a good look. Hey, Stammy, you like driving games, right? I, I suppose so. Well, last night I played one called BeamNG Drive, uh -huh. just like a physics sim. I think, I think I'd find that interesting. All right, though, gotta go. See you later, buddy. Bye. Hmm. BeamNG Drive. If I crash, I will varnish all of my furniture with my garage doors down. What the fuck is this? I wouldn't be so toxic about them if they weren't on the front page of BeamNG all the time. Again, because kids tend to fuel the algorithm. So how do we fix this exactly? Mie proposed that kids stay on YouTube Kids to keep them safe of mature content. And I kind of agree for an entirely different reason. I happen to think that kids should use YouTube Kids to stay away from BeamNG's YouTube algorithm. Then videos like this wouldn't be getting so many views on normal YouTube and we wouldn't be seeing it on the front page page of BeamNG. Imagine a coworker or a friend looking this up on YouTube and they're just going to think you're a weirdo instead of potentially buying the game themselves. There is a glaring problem though. How do we get kids to stay on the kid side of YouTube? I think I have a solution. BeamNG devs, hear me out. We add bodies to the car and this all goes away. 